Red, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am really gonna miss you when you die. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. After addicting fans with its ridiculous slingshot gameplay and never-ending cycle of birds to choose from, the Angry Birds franchise finally made its way to the big screens in 2016. The first movie from Rovio Entertainment gave fans a front seat into the lives of the iconic birds in their battles against their enemies, the nefarious pigs. With the third movie in the Angry Birds franchise on the way, it seemed like the right thing to make a video on everything we know. In this video, we cover everything from its release date to its possible storyline and all the surprises fans should expect. If you love videos on movies and TV shows, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up so you don't miss our next video. What we really need is a hero. I'm in. Wonderful! After making over $300 million at the box office, it's safe to say that the Angry Birds movie would get a sequel early on. But that wasn't the case the second movie. Angry Birds 2 made a little over $150 million, and fans of the franchise were worried that it wasn't enough to warrant another movie. After waiting a few years, we finally got confirmation that the third movie was in the works. News first broke about the movie when the CEO of Rovio Entertainment, Alexander Normand, confirmed that the movie was in the early stage development. According to reports, The Angry Birds 3 is expected in cinemas on April 14, 2024 in the US. If the release dates for the previous movies are anything to go by, then the movie might be released in other locations earlier. With its 2024 release date, fans would have to wait a little while longer before they would get to see the trailer for the movie. We should expect a trailer for the movie once the studio begins its marketing campaign for the new movie. Whoa, 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 whoa. what can you do? Oh, uh, yuck. Uh, I need a tissue. As expected, the Angry Birds movie will definitely include some reoccurring cast members, including Jason Sadukis, who voices Red. Fans should also expect Josh Gad, Danny McBride, and Maya Rudolph as they feature in the new movie as Chuck, Bomb, and Matilda. Bill Hatter and Peter Dinklage should reprise their roles as King Leonard Mudbeard and the Mighty Eagle. The latest installment would not be complete without Silver, Zeta, and Debbie, which means means Rachel Bloom, Leslie Jones, and Tiffany Haddish aren't going anywhere. The second Angry Birds movie did not shy away from adding stellar cast members like Aquafina and Sterling K. Brown, and we would not be surprised to see them reprise their roles in the next film. If the studio decides to go with a plot that involves a lot of characters with speaking roles, we might be getting a host of new voice actors. Wait a minute. I'm not a leader. Okay, pigs stole our kids. That sucks. Made all you guys look like idiots. No one expected a movie franchise from a video game about flightless birds who serve as ammunition for your slingshot. But Rovio Entertainment made it all possible when they teamed up with Sony Pictures Animation for the project. The first movie followed the most recognizable bird of the franchise, Red, as he starts out as an outcast on Bird Island. When Red causes an egg to hatch prematurely, he is sentenced to anger management class, where he meets Chuck and Bomb. The two Two birds try to befriend Red, but being the socially awkward outcast, he wants nothing to do with them. Despite Red's reservations about his new friends, he is forced to work with them when the pigs make their way to Bird Island. Red is naturally suspicious of the pig captain Leonard, but the islanders are fascinated by the pigs and their gifts. Red then comes up with a plan to inform the island's resident hero, the Mighty Eagle, but he is disappointed to discover that the hero he adored is now a slacker who spends his days away from every Everyone. Red, Chuck, and Bomb soon uncover the pig's plot to steal their eggs from right under their noses. Red, Chuck, and Bomb are forced to save the island without help from Mighty Eagle. They don't get back in time and the pigs destroy the bird village with dynamite before escaping with their eggs. Red and his gang build a boat out of the wreckage and they chase after the pigs to Piggy Island. With the help of other birds, Red attacks the pig's castle with a giant slingshot, just like in the games, and we get to see some awesome explosions. Mighty Eagle also joins in on the rescue, and together they manage to save the eggs from King Leonard. Guards! There is a red bird in these walls. Bring him to me. In the second movie, we see the pigs and the birds form an unholy alliance when their homes are threatened by the eagles led by Zeta. Zeta utilizes a special weapon that hurls ice balls at their islands to get them to evacuate, and instead they board a submarine and head to Eagle Island. In the background of the skirmish between the animals, one of the birds loses the eggs they were supposed to be protecting. On their way to Eagle Island, they learn that Mighty Eagle and Zeta were once a thing, but it never happens due to his cowardice. Red tries to take Zeta 
Florida on his own, but he is accompanied by Chuck's sister, Silver. It doesn't take long for the pair to get captured, and while incapacitated, Red tells Silver about how he wants the other birds to like him. Silver manages to get them free, and together with the other birds, they attack Zeta and his eagles. Zeta easily subdues them, but not before Chuck uses Silver's new intention to sabotage the weapon. Once Zeta fires the weapon, it backfires and destroys Zeta's base of operation. Amid the chaos, Mighty Eagle saves his newfound daughter, Debbie, from being crushed by a metal plate, and it convinces Zeta to stand down. They all go back to Bird Island, and Mighty Eagle finally marries Zeta in a wedding attended by everyone. Red praises Silver and the team as the real heroes of the operation, which makes the birds love him. Before the credits, we see a boa constrictor returning the hatchlings after they were mixed up with their eggs. Even though the movie doesn't end on a cliffhanger, the writers make sure there were several options to explore for the next installment in the franchise. And my daughter! Hey! <gasps> <gasps> well, our daughter. <gasps> What? In the sequel to the first movie, we saw how pigs and birds came together to fight the threat that was Zeta and her plan to conquer both islands. If the writers follow the same format for the next installment of the franchise, we might be looking at a new enemy that we don't know of. The pigs and the eagles were able to work out their differences with the birds, and they might need to work together to face the next threat that comes their way. Nonetheless, we expect the film to pick up from where the last movie left off. As Red begins to understand what it means to be less cranky and self-absorbed, and we should be getting a movie that showcases a new Red and his relationship with his friends and other birds on the island. After waiting for what seemed like an eternity, we also got to go see the hatchlings when the snake returned them home to Bird Island. No doubt the little troublemakers will play a key role in the next movie. Just like in the previous movie, the hatchlings might become the target for the antagonist. We also saw Red and Silver form a connection in the last movie, so we're going to get to see where it leads in the next movie. We all watched Angry Birds develop from a mindless game we played when we were bored to a massive franchise ranking in a few hundred million dollars. The animated movie industry might be dominated by giants like Disney and Pixar, but it's really nice to see a Finnish brand like Rovio develop its IP to the point it can produce movies that people love. We don't know if Angry Birds 3 will be the last installment in the franchise, but one thing we know is that we will be watching it once it hits cinemas everywhere. What do you guys think about the Angry Birds movies? Let us know in the comments below. That's my dad? I have a daughter? Yes! Yeah, I do! And I raised her all by myself in this icy wasteland.